A judge in Aruba today ordered the release of two men being held in the Natalie Holloway case, including the father of a Dutch teen. Why this missing person case has grabbed the headlines while others go untold is a troubling issue for many, and that is tonight's Weekend Journal, a look at some disturbing questions about what's driving this news coverage. Kelly Cobiea is live in Aruba with the latest. Kelly, if you've turned on the news lately, chances are three weeks now you've heard all about her. Where is Natalie Holloway? That's the Alabama the girl's disappearance in Aruba is the latest family tragedy to make national headlines and provoke criticism. These types of stories are not being covered because how important they are to the nation. They're being covered because of how emotional they are in the heartstrings of the viewers. And critics say they all have something in common. We basically focus on young, white, attractive female victims. It's a bright but exclusive national spotlight. When I walk by, I always go by her picture, lay my hands on it, and I said, Connie, where are you? Maybe that's why you haven't heard Connie Marie Hobbs' story. She isn't white, isn't wealthy, and at 43, isn't young. I still have faith. Gwen Hobbs Nick says her sister's been missing since April 13th when she failed to show up for a doctor's appointment in Poughkeepsie, New York. I wanted to get out on the news so everybody in the world can see that her, she has a family. We love her. Hobbs Nix has been trying unsuccessfully to get the media, any media, to pay attention to her sister's disappearance. If I didn't fight, no one would fight for her. They've treated her like she's a nobody. You know, I'm doing, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Connie Hobbs is one of an estimated 47,600 missing adults tracked by the FBI. Of those, 53% are men, 29% are African American. Disproportionately high, considering only 12% of the U.S. population is black. Still, nearly all of the missing person stories getting saturation coverage are of white women. This is a multicultural, multiracial nation. We should cover the country we have and not the country that we apparently imagine. Until that changes, okay, if it changes, it. the relatives of some of the missing are left feeling frustrated and alone. What's so different about it is just because our skins are color different. What is different? Nothing. I breathe the same air everybody else breathes. She does too. I miss her. I miss her. I miss her. Gwen Hobbs Nix has raised $600 for a reward for information about her sister. She hopes to hold a fundraiser next month. We'll be right back.